Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. How's it going, Guille? Uh, fine, thank you, teacher. Nice uh, to what hear. about you, teacher? You know what? It's real nice, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, good to hear that, teacher. Okay. Welcome to day number two. Hello, Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, Maria. Hello. Good to see you again. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> it's always good. It's always good. Thank Good you, evening. teacher. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Let's see what we have. It's almost, it's, we're almost done. It's Tuesday. Ivan, welcome aboard. Let's see here. Hello, hello. Ivan, can you hear me okay? Yeah, man, very good. Nice, nice. All right, let's wait. Let's wait for the rest of the class. While we wait, how is the platform work going? Paco, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, Thank sir. You, How are you guys doing with the platform work? I I, I haven't finished the uh, the course number four. Okay. The section number four. I have completed until four point five. Just okay. Last but I hope to to, to complete the, uh, the, the whole section uh, today because I think that the, the, the course is going to end uh, on, on February 15th, right? That is correct. That is correct. Mm. Well, actually, no, on the 18th. 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 Yeah, 18th. And tomorrow. So not on Wednesday, but on Thursday, right? So the day after I tomorrow. Have... It means that we need to complete uh, uh, all the sections in the on the platform, so you... we can. That would be the ideal thing to do. Yes, sir. That would be the best thing. I have done my the platform already. Mm -hmm. Okay, Com complete, all the way across. Complete. All the way. All right, well done. Well done, sir. Good for Paco. Very good. Very good, thank Paco. Thank you, Guillermo. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you will make it. <laughs> okay, you thank you very it. much. I'm sure you will. You could yeah. do it. You Thank can you. do it. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. I saw Ivan's uh, certificate a few days ago. Congratulations, Ivan. Ivan. Thank you, man. Did you guys see the to you too. did you guys see Thank the little you. prize we sent them? Uh, I saw it. He, yeah, he there we go. Something. Yeah, yeah. He got a little medal for that one, Ivan. And a trophy, and a trophy as well. Dear diary, dear diary. <laughs> so I, I have a question, teacher. Yep. What will, what we will have for, uh, uh, for I mean, 
we're gonna have any party to <laughs> for the uh, uh, what I I don't know how, how to say, but for the uh, for the award, let's say the award. Well, you we know, we're gonna have. Hello, Karen. Well, it, it, we can call it a graduation because we're moving from one module to another one, right? From third to fourth. So it could be a mo it could be a module graduation. Um, it can be a certification party. You know, every, everybody received certification. Well, everybody should receive certification, right? And then for completing the course, well, I'll tell you what, Pueblo Viejo. Oh, I'm sorry about Pueblo Viejo. Pueblo Viejo is getting fixed up. So as soon as we get Pueblo Viejo back on track, we'll have our graduation party. There you go. Let's go for at least for the breakfast. You know, it's I yeah, I think I went for Pueblo Viejo for breakfast. Oh my I, God. I, I liked love it. That breakfast. Yeah, I, I agree. Really good. We can we can go at night and we we go out until next day at breakfast time. Right? <laughs> Imagine. Wow, that would be that would be something to remember. What happened? Uh -huh. y, el, y el teacher? No, él nunca regresó. What? No, <laughs> no classes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Imagine that. He took a flight. He took a flight and never came down. <laughs> never landed. <laughs> Never landed, that's right. <laughs> El teacher se fue. <laughs> Woo. Hello, hello, Glenda. Hello. Welcome, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> we are talking about going for breakfast to Pueblo Viejo, Glenda, when they fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a celebration. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> it's our, it's going to be our celebration. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We have a little bit. Let me see how many. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can get started. All right. How are you guys with? the work on the website how is it going have you have you gotten stuck in any of the activities are you talking about the live worksheets or the uh, or the platform no the platform 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 oh okay oh i know that in the live worksheets there there are some that you can get pretty stuck in yeah, there are a few very uh, confusing. Very, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. That's why we're going to see a couple of those today, Paco. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> see how we can get those going. There is Maria Ernestina. There is, there she is. Ah, hello, hello. Let me bon see here. Tip, Maria Ernestina. Y, y todos nosotros solo viéndola. Gracias, gracias, María. ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué culpa tengo? ¿Qué culpa tengo? All right. Hello, hello. All right. Well, let, let's talk about the platform a little bit. Um, let's see. Where should we be? How you guys need to proceed? Let me go ahead and share my whole screen. I have nothing to hide, nothing. All right, so here we go. We have the platform. It is Tuesday, a nice, beautiful, sunny Tuesday. Two more days and we graduate. 
Well done. We have made it every day. I think time has flied. Like time has gone so quick. It's just unbelievable. And so I, I'm, to tell you the truth, I usually when I come to the end of the classes, it, it always gets a little, you know, uh, like Guy was saying, you want to celebrate. Uh, but like with everything else, I, I will also miss you guys. And I'm going to wait till you guys come around in the cycle, right? Hopefully we can see each other in the next, in the next, uh, in the next module. And okay. certificates, I, I see, I see, Maria, son los certificados. Are those the certificates? Is that for, is that, is that the certificate for all of us, Maria, or just yours? Sí, yo ya tengo mi certificado, teacher, en Spanish. Oh, nice. Well done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> All right. You. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys can see my screen, we are in the platform. And models and adverbs was one of the videos. So, what I wanted to do is kind of kind of play on, play on 4.5. I, I heard... Uh, a couple of you guys, maybe one or two that had issues with uh, the, you know, section four. Maybe we can cover some of that real quick before we go into section five for Thursday and Friday. And then, of course, you know, the final exam, hopefully, right? So let's go ahead and play this one. Let me go ahead. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Okay, let me go ahead and share one more time. I didn't do the sound. Let me go ahead and share with you guys one more time. And this time we're gonna play with the sound. So here we go, guys. Yeah. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. All right, let's go back here a little bit to this portion. Okay. So we have it might, which is the lightest form. And this one is may, right? We have it could, and then we have it must. So might, could, must. The more sure you are about something, the closer you come to must, okay? The less sure you are, the farther away you get. So you can start off with might as a really rare possibility. Could, we're gonna say maybe it's a 50-50 chance. Must is a lot higher. We're, we're pushing 75, 80%, okay? So I want you guys to think of it that way when you guys use the word might, could, must, okay? Then we have maybe, which is perhaps, it possibly or 
probably and definitely. How sure are you? If you're not that sure, we can start off with maybe. However, the possibilities are stronger when you guys use the adverb of maybe. So which one should I use, teacher? Should I use might or maybe? Well, it depends. How sure are you? So let me give you an example. Let me give you an example, okay? Has a friend ever invited you guys to go out and meet them somewhere? For example, um, let, let's use a, you know, a restaurant that we were talking about, uh, Pueblo Viejo. Has a friend ever invited you? What is your response? Now, if you are 100% sure that you are going with him, what is the response that you use? 100%. Hey, are you gonna come to the breakfast at Pueblo Viejo? And you respond with? Definitely. Definitely, right? Yes. That is a yes, definitely. Yes, most definitely. You guys can, you know, you can switch it up there a little bit. Yes. Can, can I have a question? Can yep. we use absolutely? Uh, yes, go ahead. Paco, yes, you can. Okay. That could be an advert too? It could, it could be. Now, usually you use absolutely when somebody asks you like this, Paco, are you sure you are, sorry, let's see. Are you sure you are going to make it to Pueblo Viejo? And then you can come back and you can say absolutely because okay. you are 100% sure that it is going to happen. Okay. Now, I might show up. I might show up. If a friend tells you that they might show up, what are they telling you? They are not sure. They are not sure. And actually, actually, it is more of a possibility of them not going. So whenever you guys hear people say, I might show up, that is almost like saying no. Mejor me hubiera dicho que no. Ahí te guardé el pastel, ahí te guardé la margarita, ahí estaba el asiento. Puchica vos. Mm -hmm. Right? You might, have, you might have just said no and saved me all this trouble. But what if he says, you know... I could probably make it. Hey, we're having a party at Pueblo Viejo at seven. Are you going to go? You know, I could probably make it. I get out of work at five. You said that they start at seven. Yeah, you know, I can take a Uber. I could probably make it. I could probably make it. What you is the possibility? I, I would say that that's like a nice 50, maybe a little bit higher because they start to do the math on you, right? When people start telling you about how they're going to get there, what plan or who are they going to ride with, that is usually a good indicator, right? Hey, are you sure you're going to make it? You know, I have a friend. I could probably make it if I asked my friend for a ride. So I would say that you're looking at about maybe 55 to 60 percent. It's, it's actually a really good number when, when somebody says it like that. It's a little bit above. Hey, can you make it to Pueblo Viejo tonight? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's a must for me. Oh, what are they telling you? Ese teacher va a llegar. 90%. Right? It is a must. 
And you could say it like that. Now, not too many people say it in that way. But people would or could tell you, you must be there, you know. Now, it's really, it's really rare for people to say it like that, but you guys can hear it from time to time. Your presence is a must. You know, you're going to get people telling you like that. Might, could, must, depending on how you are feeling in regards to how sure. If you're not so sure, might. If you feel pretty confident, could. If you feel really, really sure, then it is a must, okay? So we go into using the adverbs, right? Maybe. Hey, are you coming to the party? Maybe, mm, maybe. Now, you can follow it up. When somebody says maybe, you can say, what, what do we need to do to make it happen? Why is it a maybe? And you can ask, right? You can ask straightforward. Maybe is another way of saying, I'm not going to make it. So when people say maybe, remember, it's actually a maybe no instead of a maybe yes. That's the probability. Hey, are you going to make it to the party? Possibly. Ooh, right? That means that there is a strong feeling about going. Are you going to make it to the party? Definitely. Okay. Definitely means yes. Absolutely. Definitely. Most definitely. These all mean yes. This is going to happen. Hey, are we going to go on a date or not? We are definitely going on a date. Oh, my God. That is better than a yes. Right? Because literally, the world would have to come to a crushing end in order for that date not to happen after you receive a definitely. Not too many people say it. Not too many people say it as a yes, and then don't show up, okay? All right, so far, how are we doing? If we have a party on Friday for graduation, Paco, will you be able to go? Are you going to the party, Paco? I might go to the party. Nice, nice. Oh my God, Paco's not going. You guys see that? You guys, <laughs> did you guys just see that? Ivan, we're having a party on Friday. Are you going to be there? I would like, man, but not really. I'm not really? Sorry. All right, too far, too far. Guille, party on Friday. Pueblo Viejo, are you going to be there? Uh, will the, oh, I'm going to. Going You're going to go to the party. Yes, definite, definitely. I will Defi go there party. we go. Yes, I'm definitely going. There you go. There you go. That's how you say it. Again. Okay. Um, right. Glenda, we're going to a, certif a, a certificate party. Are you, are you going to make it? Uh, it could mean. It could. You could. You could try to make it. Mm hmm it could mean, but Pueblo Viejo, it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take it, we'll take it. P possibly, so I'm taking it. So, you know, Glenda, that's a possibility. I like that, I like that. <laughs> Karen, there is a party on Friday. Will you make it? It's possible. <laughs> you could, you could try to make it? Yeah. 
All right. Uh, we'll accept that. We'll accept that. You could. All right. Okay. So remember, you could say might, you could say could, you could use must, maybe, possibility, or definitely. These are the sure. models. These are the adverbs. Yes, sir. Uh, if you are asking that question with uh, the verb to be, I can only uh, answer that question using, for example, if you say, if you ask, are you going to the party uh, tonight? Uh, I can um, I can only answer using, yes, definitely. Without using the, the, the with the, with the answer, with the, using the answer, using the bird to be in the answer that you are asking me. And so the way you would answer would be, yes, I am most definitely, or yes, I am definitely going to be there. Because you're, oh, you're okay. using words to be, right? So I am. Yes, I am going to be there. But I mean, you could say, yes, I might be able to make it to the party tonight. Uh, you could say, yes, I will definitely be there tonight. Or yes, I am going to definitely be there tonight. But you see how you have to reformat to make it sound good? Yes. Yes, I'm going to be there. You know, you could leave it like that. And you can answer in that way. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more, you know, like like a little bit more strong in your answer, you can say yes, I most definitely will be there tonight, or yes, I am definitely going to be there tonight. So it, it, you know, you just have to find a way. Let me see. Yes, I am. Oh, sorry. Yes, I am definitely going to be there tonight. I mean, you could you could look at it that way, right? All right. Yeah. So yeah, and you could use case, it. And in the case uh, of of the using of might, uh, for example, if I want to answer using might. I can only say uh, I might go to the party. I might show up. Yes, I might go to I the party. Now, you wouldn't be able to use verbs to be here because if you look at it, I might, like if you say I am. Yeah, you cannot use the, yeah, the no. verb to be because they are model. Yeah, you can't use it. I you am my. So it sounds all weird. Yes, right. Yeah, I am might. No, that's not. Don't do that. All right. So yes, yes. So you can remember. So you have the models that you guys can use, and you have the adverbs that you guys can also use. And then let's go. Uh, let's go switch it over a little bit. Uh, let's see. Might, may, could. Are the words maybe, perhaps? Let me see here. maybe perhaps possibly probably are some more i might oh there we go Paco. we got it yeah that is a possibility yeah yeah all right good way of using it yeah okay now remember what we said if you are sure what's the level of sure that you are or that you want to represent right if the level of sure is very low, then you can start by using the models, right? If you want to, you know, get a little bit stronger in terms of those feelings of going, you can start using those adverbs. And so the, you know, the, the examples are uh, kind of like a must or definitely, right? The models and the adverbs, okay? And then this one, it was already on there. Let's see, I think that's pretty much it for this. Uh, 
maybe and perhaps the use of maybe and perhaps always go at the beginning of a sentence but if you guys are going to use possibly or probably and definitely they go after the subject so that's another key i would say that's something important right keep that in mind and that's pretty much it for the video i believe there's a knowledge check for this one oh number one two three Look at the images and think what do these gestures mean? How many of you guys did this one correct? You guys were able to complete it? It's pretty easy, right? Number one, the finger. What does that usually mean? That sounds crazy. That's something, yeah, that's crazy right there. All right. Well, that one was, those, these are pretty easy, right? So I think we can move ahead. 4.6, and then we go into 4.7. Models and expressing permissions, obligations, prohibition. So before we go into this one, I wanted to go into some of the worksheets. Uh, we have a few. Uh, should, shouldn't, let me see if we can use one, must, oh, there's this one here, we can probably use this one. You can use must, must not, should, and should not. Have to or don't have to, but these are model, these are model verbs. Let me see if we can get a, a better one. Have you guys done any of these? Or is this the first time you guys see these? Try to complete uh, one of that okay. is in the, on the right, but I, I just, you, I just made it, did a three or four exercises. Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. Okay, remember, little at a time, little at a time. Okay, look at this one. Look at this one. So we're talking about how sure, right? Sure, possible, impossible. And then it tells you sure, must have, or you can use a, well, must have, and then a past participle to make it work. If it's a possibility, like using possible, may have plus the past participle. And then we have impossible, can have, plus the past participle. Give it a good look. Give it a little look and tell me what you guys think. This one focuses on, on the negative form as well. All right, let's try this one out. Complete the following sentences using the correct past models of deduction based on evidence provided. Must have, may have, or can have, plus the verbs in the past participle. Your mother, and then it's blank, and then we have the verbs to be a great cook. Your siblings were fighting over her old cooking. Your mother, what do you guys think? Must have. Must have. Been. Been. Okay. Your mother must have been a great cook. Your siblings were fighting over her old cooking book. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't read the last part, the old cooking book. I thought it was her old cooking and I didn't read the book. So yeah, must have been. May have been. Your mother may have been. Mm. Your mother couldn't have been no because it, we're talking positive right 
They're fighting over the cooking book. Okay. Okay, number two. I'm not sure yet, but I guess Gracia blank eat my cookies. Her smile was suspicious. May have eating. May have. Oops, sorry. The wrong spot. May have eaten my cookies. Her smile was suspicious. All right, let's try these two out. See how we turn. There's a, there's a few more, you guys see? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we got it, Paco. We got it. Class, we got it. We made it. All right, you guys. All right, so there's there's a few more on here for the models. Let me see here. Let me see what we have. Uh, sometimes you just gotta look. The thing is that they're model. Uh, this one is should again. May have, might have, could have. This one's good. I think we can use this one. All right. This one ties directly a little bit more accurate to what we have been doing. And this is using may, might, or could have, or might have. May have, might have, and could have. So then we start off with Jane and Jack have been invited to the wedding, but they haven't re arrived yet. Everybody's waiting for them to arrive. People are making assumptions about what might have happened. And so people start to say, perhaps they have forgotten where we live. And what we have to do is we have to rewrite these sentences using may, might, or could. Or could not have. A ver, think of it. Look at it. Think about it. How can we write these sentences? May have may have perhaps made. they may have, may have forgotten where we live. How does that sound? Where we live. Oops, sorry. I, I sorry. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps they may have forgotten where we live. How does that look? Could we say might? Perhaps. Perhaps they might have forgotten where we live. Perhaps may. Perhaps they may have forgotten where we live. Now, it all depends, right? If they're really good friends and they visit pretty often, It, it could be a, a really low possibility, right? Like May. What if they've only visited the house once and now we're asking them to come back again? What are the possibilities there? So it all depends, right? How do you guys, how do you guys feel about it? Do you guys feel good about May? Yeah, okay. All right, let's move to the next one. It's possible they've lost our address. It's possible may have. You guys want to use may again? It's possible they may have lost. Our address. Mm -hmm. 
What do you guys think? Closer, further. Do you guys want to leave it as is? All right, let's let's I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and click it. Let's see what happens. Let's test those two out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tan 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 tan. Well, we got that one down. <laughs> that one. What happened? Did I erase them? No, 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 we didn't erase them. Oh no, we got them wrong. <laughs> Both of them. I was kind of happy there for a moment. I said, oh my God, we, we could have gotten them right. <laughs> Let's see. Try it one more time. All right, so we tried May and it didn't work, right? Perhaps they might have forgotten where whoopsie we live like that perhaps they might have forgotten where we live perhaps they might have forgotten where we live we said yes all right let's try it let's go with one let's try one if we get that one right, that means that maybe the second one was also right. And oh, no. What's going on? What's going on, guys? What do you guys think? What do you guys think is going on? We already used may. We already used might. They, they, might, they might have forgotten where we live. Oh, OK. All right. Let me go and refresh this one. So here you're saying they might have I've forgotten where we live. All right, let's try it. Let's try one. If we get one, that means that the second one's going to be good too, right? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. So what was going on? What do you guys think was going on? Because we used might before. I think that the issue was about uh, perhaps you we were using it. Uh, we kept using perhaps. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We got it right. So that means that we were to do number two, we would get it right too, right? Right. I hope so. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Let's get out of this one. Let's go back. So with this one, we have a little video and then we're gonna complete it. And then we're gonna pretty much be done. So let me go ahead and play the video for you guys. Let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, Obligation, and Prohibition Permission You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. 
What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. All right. So this one's a little bit, I, I think most of us have had to a certain degree experiences with this, right? Permission is asking, asking for permission. Okay. Somebody being able to give you permission to do something. As kids, we ask permission and we receive permission to go to the park by ourselves. You can go to the park. Just be back before 5 p.m. You can go to the party. Just be back before 11 p.m. You are allowed to take off your shoes. You are allowed to put the music really loud. You have to go to church. It is my obligation. You've got to take off your shoes when you come in my house. You have to wipe your shoes before coming into my house. You can't smoke here. You can't drink here. You are not allowed to take off your shirt in my house. You have to have a shirt on. Okay? These are all examples. And permission, obligation, and prohibition. So, first things. You can give somebody permission if you own something. Right? If you own the car, you can give permission to somebody to drive it because it's your car. But if it's not your car, you cannot give permission for somebody to use it. It's not yours. You have to. You have to go to dinner with me. No, I don't. Now, when do you have to do something? Well, if you are visiting a place, let me give you an example. A friend went to the Middle East. A lady friend went to the Middle East and she wanted to let her hair loose. And she wanted to visit a, a, one of the temples. And they told her, no, you cannot go in the temple if you're gonna be showing your hair. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to wrap it with a scarf and your hair cannot show because if we see your hair, we're kicking you out. So this is an example, right? This is my house. I set the rules. So you have to do this in order to pretty much keep me happy. Now, you have to go to dinner. Do I have to? Mm, no. No right? No, I don't. You have to buy this. Mm, no, you don't. So I want you guys to think of it like that. Now, prohibition is something that could be related to laws. Like there's a law where you cannot smoke inside a restaurant now, right? You guys will see things that says, or you guys are going to see signs that say, you can't smoke here and you and you have to follow that rule because it is a law so think of it like that okay permission obligation and prohibition now you have to do something be careful with this one because we are i want to say that we're older there's not too many people that can tell us that we have to do things. The only people we listen to are the police, our boss, our wife or husband. Well, in certain cases, right? Our parents. 
our parents that is correct but now our i don't think our parents at our age they tell us what to do they you know they give us options i don't know if you guys have noticed that they'll give you like options they don't treat us like kids anymore but when we're little kids they do tell you you have to go shower you have to go shower now nobody can tell you when to shower right you can you if you want you can go the whole week without showering <laughs> right ivan i don't think so all right i like that i like that all right so so be very very careful on how you guys use obligation and how you guys use the word have to right be very very careful with that one all right so let's go on to the end i want you guys to think what can you do what are you allowed to do and what do you have to do so i want you guys to think about how you how you are going to answer this and I want each of you to think of a specific answer for one of these. And then I'm going to ask you. Hopefully, everybody can do it, right? Well, we're almost done. I'm only going to get a couple. OK, volunteers, who wants to go first to answer these three questions? Glenda, Glenda. Yes. OK, Glenda, give me an example of things that you can do. What can you do? What are some things that you can do right now? Wow. And we could use, how about this, Glenda? Give me an example of things that you can do now that you weren't able to do when you were little. I am allowed. I, I, am, I am allowed to kill the mosquitoes. You can, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Yes, you can. You can do that. You can kill the mosquitoes. Yes, you can. All right. Okay, what are you allowed to do? Give me an example of something that you are allowed to do. that you were not allowed when you were a kid? Ah, when I was a... A, a teenager. A, uh -huh. a teenager. A girl. <laughs> okay. Well, I was, al I was allowed to... I was allowed to, to wear skirts. There we go. Yeah, that's a good one. My grandmother refuses to wear pants. She says that pants are for men. Okay. Okay. So now, now, Glenda, now you are allowed to wear skirts, right? As well. Yes. Yes. I, I'm, I'm allowed to, to wear skirts. Uh, nice. I nice. don't like. Don't <laughs> but, uh, I don't like I, I completely understand. Now, can you give me an example of something that you have to do now? You have to do, Glenda. You, I have to do. Mm -hmm. You have to do it. What is one example of something that you have to do? I I have to take care of my daughter. Yeah, I'll accept that. You have yeah. to do it, right? If you don't yeah. do it, who else is going to do it? All right, Nobody good. Else. Nobody else will do it. So you have to Nobody. do it. I like that. All yeah. right, so I don't think we're going to have too much time to go over these, but we can continue, right? And as you guys can see, 4.9 is already here. Melissa, yes. For example, yes, working, you have to work. Yes, you have to work. 
if you don't work, you don't earn money. And if you don't earn money, if you don't earn money, you can't buy food, right? That'll work. You have to work. Okay. And then you have the knowledge check on 4.9 and 4.10, which is the listening exercise, everybody. And I believe that's it for four point, well, for section four. So tomorrow we start section five, tomorrow and Thursday. Hopefully we can get a little bit more exercises and we're gonna go back to our conversation using may, might, uh, uh, and could. See how that works out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys some minutes back of your time. Thank you guys for coming in. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.